So today we are discussing the layered architecture. Well, we know that the OSI model and the TCP IP model are based upon the layers. OSI model is having the seven layers. But what is the meaning? Why these layers are required? That's why we are learning this topic, layered architecture. Now, let us assume that we are having a sender. Now, we know that in the real life sender can be the computer, but I am assuming example of a postcard. Let us suppose that this is the sender, which is me. And I want to send the postcard or the data to my friend who is the receiver. Now, there is one option that I write the letter. Afterward, I just drive to my friend's place and then deliver the letter to the person. Now, assume that if I am writing a letter today and afterward I am driving, the person is maybe very far away from my location. One day I am in driving, afterward I am sending the data. So, it is taking long time for sending. But if I say the same example with the help of the layers, then what will happen? Now, first of all, let us suppose I am writing a letter and the first process I am doing is the letter is written and put into the envelope and dropped in the mailbox. Assume that I am in Delhi. So the sender supposing is in Delhi. Now here in the Delhi, there will be some local post office or the mailbox there I am going to just put that letter after writing. Now what is going to happen afterward? So this was the step one I have done. Now I am free. My part is over. Now this mailbox, local mailbox is going to send the letter to the post office. So this letter is carried from the mailbox to the post office. So the mailbox is the nearby my home. Now all the letters are connected to and going to the post office. That is the second step. Afterward, the letter is delivered to a carrier by post office. Means carrier means transmission medium. Let us suppose that my letter is going via train or the plane depending upon where it is going. Okay. So assuming it is going via train. Now, Another side where my friend is living, let us suppose my friend is in Noida. Here what is happening? The letter is delivered from carrier to post office. Carrier means the transmission medium. So the transmission medium we have used in between from source to destination. This is the transmission medium. Now it is going to the main post office to the Noida. Then it is reaching to the post office to mailbox. Mailbox means let us suppose my friend in Noida is living in sector 11. So here in the sector 11 that letter will reach. Afterward it is delivered to my friend's place and letter is picked up, removed from the envelope and read. So these are the steps which are followed in the layered architecture. Both ways at my side. I am in Delhi. I have delivered to mailbox from mailbox to post office, post office to transmission medium. And in the Noida, reverse steps are followed from transmission medium to mail post office, then post office to mailbox. And then letter is read it. So these are the layers and you can see that my task is only to give the data to the mailbox. That's it. I'm not driving to my friend's place, nothing. So see how much time I have saved that time I can utilize somewhere else. But we know that every layer is going to have their own responsibility. So if I talk about the layers, we can see that there are three layers which are working. So if I talk about the top, you can see that these are the top layers on both sides. On my side, there is a top layer. And on my friend's side, there is a top layer. So the layers which are very near to user, where the users are interacting, you can see that on this layer, the users are present. So both users, sender or receiver are interacting with this layer. So this layer is called the higher layer. 
in many books you will find the upper layer there is one more layer which is at the bottom now this layer which is at the bottom and interacting with the transmission medium you can see that below this layer the wire is going so this one is the lower layer now there is one more layer in between that which is going to help the lower layer and higher layer for the interaction that is called the middle layer so this one is the middle layer which is going to help lower layer and upper layer for interaction purpose so this one is the middle layer in all the models we are having these layers lower layer upper layer and middle layer and we must know that where the users are placed where the users are interacting that is the higher layer so higher layer deal with the users if i talk about the real life scenario of network you are sending the data via computer let us assume the same example if we are using some microsoft teams software or some other software you are interacting with me you are having your own system at your home i am having my own system so the layer which is interacting with you and me that is the higher layer helping the user all the protocols all the graphical displays everything on your screen is taken care by the higher layer and the layer which is at the lower layer where transmission medium you can see that the data is going to pass here with this transmission medium transmission medium can be wired or the wireless so that is the lower layer that is helping the network network means transmission medium because transmission medium is going to provide you the network so now from your system to my system there is some kind of connectivity it can be wired or wireless that is the network and the layers which are going to help that is called the lower layers and there are some layers which are in between which are going to interact from higher layer and lower layer they are called the middle layer so with the help of the layered architecture we can understand one thing the task we have assumed was sending the letter from one place to another place that is very much easy so that's why we are using the layered architecture it provides the easier task